All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Lenovo ThinkPad P50. All right, so first thing we're going to do, make sure it's off, of course, flip it over. All right, then we're going to remove the battery. So the battery's right here, comes out by sliding this latch over, and then you lift up here, okay? Just like that. Battery model, does it have one? <clears throat> Let's see here. Um, they have some ASM and FRU part numbers. Though if you go on Amazon or something and you probably search P50 battery, um, you can probably find it. If not, let me know and I'll find a link and I'll send you that. Okay, so there we go. That's the battery. We'll set that aside. <clears throat> All right. So this one, we're going to be upgrading it to a PCIe NVMe SSD. Um, you can see actually the fans are kind of gross here. So I am going to see if I can clean that up without completely taking it apart. I'm going to like brush this and blow air into this. Um, but yeah, and then also it helps to use like a needle or something to hold the fan blade still. So that way big chunks of dirt don't like get stuck into the thing and damage it. Anyways, we're going to use the PH1 or JS1 screwdriver to take these screws out. <clears throat> Okay, they actually stay attached to the cover, so you don't have to like actually remove them, remove them, just turn them until you hear them click, and that means they're no longer um, uh, in the, what a, the threaded part. Okay, so there we go. Now that we've got that, we can go ahead and lift. There's also another gap here that you can use to kind of pop it up. Okay, so you can use pry tools or whatever, but get underneath there and pop this up. Okay, and then we're going to work our way over. And sometimes some of the screws might still be semi-attached. If that's the case, you might have to like twist it again while you're lifting it up. But there we go. <clears throat> okay, so this is designed for two, two and a half inch SATA hard drives if you have this little connector here. But you can also use um, uh, two M.2 PCIe NVMe SSDs here. All right, but you do need a special enclosure adapter thing, or not enclosure, but like a little hard drive caddy thing. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna brush this stuff a little bit and then I'll blow it out later, but for now I'm just gonna brush it. As you can see, the dust that's on it is a lot less after doing that, okay? Again, I am gonna have to blow this stuff outside. I have an electric air blower that I use to clean that out. Okay. Okay. And also there's a case intrusion switch right here. Let me actually zoom in here a bit for you guys, but let me get a thumbnail right there. Okay, so we'll line this up and we'll probably get a, actually I'll get a thumbnail when I put the SSD in. Um, but anyways, let's zoom in. You can see there's a case, in, case intrusion switch here. There's a CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here. Um, if you peel this up, you can see you can actually unplug it, just grab the wings and you kind of just wiggle it to pull it out. All right, this is a very standard one. Make sure that you do plug it in the right way. You can see the red wires going to this side and the black wires going to that side. Okay, um, what else we got? I'm not gonna take everything apart, but here you can see the RAM. There are two slots, okay? And the RAM, it just pops out by pulling the two tabs to the side, just like every other stick of RAM. And once you do that, you can go ahead and pull the stick out. I'm gonna leave that in there, um, but this is PC4 2400T. Um, you can get any PC4 2400T RAM. Um, this one particularly is 16 gigs, so they have 32 gigs of RAM in here. Okay, I'm surprised they have 32 gigs of RAM and then they just have a spinning hard drive here. Okay, um, this hard drive is somewhat of a pain to remove. So let me see if I can show you this, okay. So this connector here, um, it's kind of, you have to pull it straight up, but this is not a good design. So when you pull on this, it's gonna like, rip the cables so I have to actually get my fingernail in there and then use that to prop this up as you can see and there we go we pop that out okay once you've done that move this stuff out of the way okay once you've done that let me zoom out a bit okay you have this little piece here you pull that down this way as you lift up and then we should be able to pull the hard drive out yep just like that once it goes up slightly you can slide it out from there and pull this out so here you can see this little notch here and that's how why you have to pull this down to kind of release it from this little slot here okay so this is a two and a half inch SATA hard drive and they connect the wire here like this so you can pop it out just like that I use my fingernail to pop it up and just like that okay <clears throat> and I'm actually gonna remove the hard drive because I think it's actually causing some problems. It keeps trying to detect it and then it says hard drive not found or not detected. So I'm actually gonna remove it because you don't wanna leave a damaged hard drive connected to the computer because that will cause the computer to have problems by trying to keep reading it. 
All right, and also it will send power to it when it's not really doing anything. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and pop this out. You kind of have to just wiggle it. It has these little plastic things that just go into the screw holes. It doesn't actually use screws. And we'll just put this little tray back in here. So if it ever needs to be used in the future, it will be there, okay? And this piece, um, we can probably just plug it back in, but I'd rather just have it unplugged. So I'm gonna put it like this, okay? Just like that to keep it out of the way and prevent it from plugging itself in. So this I'll set aside and I'll just hand it back to the customer. <clears throat> okay, so we had to order a SSD tray uh, kit thing for this. So let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Some of the models, depending which one you got, might already come with the SSDs installed, but this one the customer got didn't have it for some reason. All right, so I guess they upgraded the RAM on their own later. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks like it comes with a uh, thermal pad here. Okay, that's covered with a pla protective plastic. Okay, and it has the screw and everything for the SSD. Um, and then this plastic comes up here and you can see there's actually another um, thermal pad in here. Okay, um, and then there's also the SSD slot zero and SSD slot one. So you wanna actually use slot zero first. Okay, so let's see how we can install the SSD into here. Of course, we are gonna have to take this screw out um, it did come with a screw, but I'm not going to use that. Or it came with a screwdriver, but I'm not going to use that. So we're going to use my own screwdriver. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and open this up. They wanted the best we could get. So we got a 980 Pro Samsung SSD, one terabyte. All right. Let's go ahead and cut this thing open. Okay. Get this box open here. And let's get this out. All right, so here we go. We got the SSD. Let's go ahead and pop this out of here. Okay, so SSD, um, you see they have this screw hole here. So I'm guessing we're gonna have to slide it in this way. I don't know if we can go the opposite direction because it's a slot here. So how can we do this? Can we slide it in this way? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we can slide it in this way. I think it's gonna, or is that upside down? What am I doing here? Okay, let's let's double check how this fits into here. So this thing goes in like that, okay? So it slots in and then, um, oh, they actually have a screw down here. I don't know if that's supposed to hold into this. Let me double check. Can we take this out and put that in there? So we'll take this screw out. <clears throat> then we'll slot this like that and then we can can we put this in here yeah we can okay so that screw is going to go in like that okay take this back out and slide that out we want to make sure we put the hard drive in the right way it's kind of weird they put the thermal pad down here so if i slide this it's probably going to like get all mushed okay i guess you have to kind of tilt it at an angle and then put it down that way the thermal pad will attach to down there Okay, let's go ahead and take a look here. What do we got? So the slot, the smaller part of the slot is on that direction. So the SSD is actually gonna go upside down like this, okay? So what we do, I guess we're gonna, oh, they actually put a thing here. So they show you um, SSD, you want the notch going that way, okay? They actually show you, okay. So what we're gonna do, let's see, can we slide it this way or do we have to do it from the other way? Oh yeah, we can, okay. So you slide it in like that, <clears throat> it seems, or so it seems. I don't know, this is so weird, the design. If I put it that way, okay, if I put it that way, then once it clears these plastic pieces here, okay, you can slide it back slightly, and there you go, it stays like that, and I'm hoping this is spaced properly. Okay, I'm gonna do a test fit before I remove the thermal pad because I wanna make sure that this is going in and holding properly. Okay, you don't wanna over tighten the screw, it's just there to prevent it from jumping back over these plastic raised mounts. Then we're gonna go ahead and get this lined up. Same thing again, at an angle, push that in. All right, seems like it went in all the way. 
and then that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna pull this back out. Again, if you have the thermal pad undone, you have to pull it up slightly and then pull this back. And you can leave this all as one tray. So that's kind of nice that you don't have to remove the SSD from this piece, okay? But uh, I do have to remove it right now just to undo the thermal pad thing, okay? So we'll get this back out. Can we slide it forward instead of backwards? Let's see. I don't know if we can slide it forwards. It's, uh, no, you can't slide it forward out of there. It gets caught. So you do have to lift it up. Okay, so you do have to lift this side up and then pull it backwards. Okay, and then pull this out just like this. Kind of grab from the sides and there we go. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna peel off the clear layer here. Okay, there's a clear plastic layer that is covering this thermal pad. All right, you can see, peeled that off. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and put this back in. All right, and line that up. Make sure it goes into the notched area. Slide that back. Uh oh, it's getting already stuck to the pad, so that's gonna be tricky. Okay, so it's tricky to like line this up properly. Oh God because it keeps sticking to that pad down there. So yes, you do have to somewhat touch the connector there. So I know somebody's gonna complain, but it is what it is. All right, so I don't know. This is, this is somewhat of a pain because you have to go past, there's like a little bit of a lip. I'll try and show you guys in a bit. Let me do this first and then I'll show you guys what I mean. And let's try and slide this back. Can I slide this back? Okay. So I have to like hold this back with my hand or finger while I get this screw into place. And then let me show you what I mean with the SSD, what's going on there. All right, you don't wanna over tighten this cause you don't wanna damage that. All right, so while you do have this plastic sticking out, also there's a very slight edge there, okay? So the SSD has to go past that, then you can drop it in and then you slide it under this, that little edge right there, okay? There we go, so we're gonna close that down. All right, we're gonna peel this one up as well. Okay, peel the clear skin off. That's important, if you don't peel this off, it's not gonna do the thermal transfer properly, and then you're gonna have problems with it overheating. Okay, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go at an angle like this. All right, hopefully you guys can see properly what's going on. So we go at an angle, okay? As you can see, there's like a slit here, okay? And that's what it kind of goes over the motherboard. All right, so once you get it in that slit, then you can kind of lower it a little bit, keep pushing till you feel it click into place. And then once it clicks into place, you can drop that down and we'll put this screw in. All right, and there we go. Tighten that into place. Good, now what we're gonna do, we're going to, or I'm going to, clean out the dust in here. So let me do that real quick. Um, depending what you wanna do, you actually could do the dust thing first so the dust doesn't go all over the SSD. But um, yeah, we already did that. So let's go ahead now and just blow the dust out. I'll do that and I'll be back. All right, so I'm back. You can see the fans are much cleaner now. All right, a lot of dust actually came out when I blew it out with the electric blower. But anyways, let's go ahead and put this thing back together and then we are just going to put windows on it. Oops, don't need to zoom out so much. All right, so what we're gonna do now, we're just going to put the cover back on, install windows from scratch and yeah. All right, so we'll get this back on, goes at an angle, work your way down, go around the edges, pop all the clips in. All right, and then get all the screws in, of course. Just do that. All right. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. Excuse me. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to this. All right. If you're wondering how to boot from a USB, press enter on boot and then F12 um, to uh, select the boot device. All right, let's get the battery back in. 
click that into place, make sure it's in the locked position. All right, I'm gonna flip this back over. Okay, make sure everything's snapped in. All right, and let's get our Windows bootable USB here. Okay, plug this in. It helps to also have it plugged in, but for now I'm just gonna be making sure it boots up and reads my bootable drive with the SSD. So I'm pressing enter. Okay, then it launches the startup. Press F12 before this countdown uh, finishes. Then you'll see the boot options. If you don't see your bootable USB in the boot options, it could be you didn't boot your, um, or you didn't create your bootable USB right, or you might have to mess with um, BIOS settings. But anyways, here you can see I have my USB SanDisk Cruiser Fit, and you can also see the one terabyte uh, NVMe. I'm gonna press OK on that, and then I'm gonna boot up my 64-bit Windows 10 installer. And that's pretty much it. You just go through the Windows installer as usual. I always select custom, make sure that there's no partitions on the drive, which it's brand new, so there shouldn't be. And then I just click uh, to continue and follow the on-screen prompts. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.